Welcome back to Brown Hill Goats Barn. Today we are weathering the bucklings. Bucklings are young male goats who aren't weathered yet. Weather is the word that's used to describe neutering male goats. We use an emasculatome, sometimes called by its brand name of Berdizo, to weather our bucklings. We always recommend having a licensed veterinarian perform this procedure under sedation, and we do not recommend that farmers try it themselves without proper formal training. Our vet lightly sedates the bucklings. She uses the emasculatome to crush the spermatic cord through unbroken skin. Killing the spermatic cords causes the testicles to atrophy or to shrivel up over time. The scrotum remains intact, though. She crimps each spermatic cord two to three times. She palpates the scrotum to make sure that she can feel the spermatic cord going through the emasculatome. It sometimes slips up to the side, which causes the procedure to fail. Palpation also checks to make sure that the testicle didn't slide above the emasculatome, which also causes failure. This procedure is painful, which is why it's important for goats to be sedated. In under two minutes, the procedure is complete. We try to wait until the bucklings are at least a few weeks old to weather them. We've had more uh, failures when we've weathered very young kids with this procedure. Once they're a bit older, the failure rate seems to reduce significantly. Immediately following the procedure, uh, we're sure to place the bucklings in a sternal position. We use their elbows and walls or other objects to prop them up. If they were to lay flat on their side while they wake up, uh, their risk of bloating is much higher and that can be deadly. Keeping them in a more upright position significantly reduces the risk of bloat. We sometimes use physical stimulation to help rouse them out of the sedation. Once they start waking up, they'll moan and begin moving parts of their body. Uh, once they're able to hold their head up and swallow, I give them the first oral dose of anti-inflammatory medication. We monitor their breathing closely the whole time that they're sedated. Obviously, if there's a complication with the sedation and they stop breathing, I will need to act quickly, so being attentive is truly essential. This doesn't usually happen, and in fact, it's never happened here, but it's a risk of sedation that we keep in mind just in case. Esri's a first-time mama, she became quite worried about her baby gadget, so I let her into the room and uh, she checked on him for a moment. Once she was satisfied that he was okay, she actually left the room on her own. After a few more minutes, the babies start nickering back and forth with their mama on occasion. Uh, this is about the time that they start trying to stand up. I always stay close to them the whole time they're sedated. But this is when I'm most active, trying to keep them from thrashing around, falling, crashing into things. Uh, it's usually just a few minutes that they're so unsteady, but we do need to keep them safe during that time. These triplets stumbled around a bit until they were close together and then settled down for a few more minutes of rest. At this point, they're holding themselves up in the sternal position. 
Litter mates share an important bond. They look to each other for comfort. They're so sweet. Eventually, they grow steady enough to stand for a little while, but they aren't ready for much activity at this point. We prefer to use the emasculotome method of weathering uh, because it's humane as opposed to the more traditional banding method, which is very painful for several days. There's no risk of failure with surgical castration since the testicles are completely removed from the body, but they seem to have more trouble with post-operative pain, even when given oral medication. Um, the emasculotome doesn't require an incision. There's no wound to protect from the elements of the insects. The scrotum swells for a day or two after the emasculotome procedure, so we give them an oral anti-inflammatory medication for two to three days. That seems to take care of all the pain from the procedure. There's a chance that this procedure could fail where the spermatic cord isn't crushed and the testicle doesn't atrophy like it should. When using an emasculotome on a young buckling, it's easy to notice the failure because one testicle will shrivel over the next few weeks while the other testicle will grow. If the scrotum looks uneven over the next few weeks, this indicates that the procedure wasn't a complete success and it needs to be repeated on the failed side. It's a little more difficult to notice a failure on a young buck because their scrotum's already done most of its growing, so the size difference in the two testicles is harder to see. We're sure to visually assess their scrotums for several weeks just in case, no matter what. It's about an hour altogether between when they are first sedated and when they are seemingly fully awake, as long as there are no complications uh, and the sedation isn't too heavy. Since this is such a quick procedure and not as painful as so many surgeries, they don't need a big dose of sedatives. Once the bucklings are standing and walking around without falling down, we let them reintegrate with the herd. Kiwi and Sprite took a moment to get their bearings before they approached their mama Pixie. Uh, Pixie was watching them really closely to make sure that they were okay. Everyone wanted a chance to check them over once they were up and around again. Often the first thing they do is they try to find their mama to nurse. Nursing calms them while the world still looks a bit wonky. Gadget's still wobbly here, but manages to nurse just fine. He's also happy to be reunited with his sister, Nessie. Not surprisingly, they almost always have to pee not long after they're awake again. As they wake up more, they reconnect with the herd. Even after they've been up and moving around for a bit, they'll still take a few extra naps while the last of the sedation wears off. 
Now that they've been weathered, these bucklings will either stay here as part of our doe herd or will go to a new home as a pet, and either way they won't be able to breed in the future. I hope this video helps with understanding the emasculatome procedure. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and go check out our other videos. Have a goat day!